Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Did a little vlogging today. I'll show you what I got into the other day, Sunday. Whoops, sorry. We was gonna, we had a sale out here in the front yard. Uh, we only made 15 bucks. We only had like three customers. Five of that was from a friend of mine, so he bought five dollars worth. Of he always buys something off of me. Uh, but another guy bought ten dollars worth. Well, he bought three dollars worth of stuff. Well, he bought one thing that was three dollars his son wanted. And we didn't have change. All she had was a ten. And I said, well, I'm, I might have some change. Hang on. And uh, he said, no, you know what? Go ahead and keep the ten. I'll buy something else. So I made him a deal on a couple other things. So, so we didn't film any of that. But I got this charged up and I came over to, to move this. Turn the key on. And there's the pedal and if you look, nothing happened. And I know it's getting power everywhere so far. I mean, there's reverse. Here's the turn signals. Beep, beep. Horn. So, I don't know what's going on with this thing, I guess, apparently always if you put it all the way to the floor it's electric uh it would go and stop just like you shut the key off as soon as you let your foot off and go again it would go but as long as you didn't put it wide open to the floor it would go well it's not even doing that now so i don't know if the issue is in here or in the control box i'm not sure but that's what i'm we're gonna work on it yesterday and it was like super cold well it wasn't really cold it was in the 50s but it was very very windy windier than now and today it's in the 50s but i don't know if you can see the trees they're moving around quite a bit so i don't know if i'm going to do anything on that today or not i was working on my sister's wedding video again so Let's go see what we got in the mailbox. I'm waiting on like three different things. I know one's not going to be until the end of this month, but I should get one today. Well, looks like I got two today. So what we'll do, we'll go in and we'll open these up and I'll show you what I got. We'll open these things up one of them may be a complete review so let's go in here and get these opened up and check them out okay guys we're back in the house now we're going to see what these are i'm pretty sure i know what they both are but, but um go ahead and open these up check them out So, this is an RC bracket strap for Mavic Air 2. Should be for the Mini. Well, it's supposed to be for the Mini. Alright. Just opened up here and I'll... What it is, it should be a strap... for my drone thing so I'm gonna pull this out so let me point you down here I got you on the wrong side but okay let's go ahead and open this up yeah pretty nasty weather past couple days not really super cold but uh, 
like I said, real windy, and that makes it cold, even though the sunshine looks like a beautiful day. You got side and get frostbitten. <laughs> okay, so got the adjustments on it. Let's just say sunny life. So this is supposed to clip on here. Um yeah, it's got the I hate when plastic makes a sound like that, don't you? And then you put this over you like this, and then this gets clipped on here. Just got a little little doodad here. Just clips into right there like that then you can hold it like that cool huh awesome I'll have to lower it down because I never hold it up this high and I usually hold it down here so let's see All right, cool. And then, of course, your phone sits in here. I I I take the case off so it fits, but uh, yeah, like that. So, and then I can work hands free. Again, something you got to get used to. But that's this is going to help me out a lot. Monkey's been wanting me to get this, get one of these, so I got it. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Let's open up the other thing. Hang on a second. Now, let's open this up. I saved these bags because they're good for, good for sending stuff out. I sell some things on eBay. I'm pretty well sold out. I only got three active items. So... <laughs> light band we seen one of these on TV well not TV but on YouTube lazy Russian hacker was doing a review on one of course he doesn't give you any information uh, so we just kind of had to look it up and so this is one cool headlamp this thing is awesome. Comes in a bag. Of course, we've got our instruction manual thing here. So let's go ahead and open this up. There we go. Comes with batteries, which will get rechargeable ones. There it is. This thing is cool. And this gets put in there like that. Alright. So, there's our stuff there. Really not much to read up on there, so. Awesome. Alright guys. I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay guys, so... I'm going to go outside and I'm going to check a few things on that golf cart. I probably shouldn't do it because it's only 49 degrees, man. Okay, but before I do, I got this monkey's messaging me. <laughs> Cute. Okay, but before I do, I got to fix my little lead here because I'm going to try this life hack 
everybody says works well actually I shouldn't say that I know it works because I did on monkey's phone cord um, now the reason why I haven't bought these is not because I can't get them it's because they cost most of the places I found they cost more than the whole damn unit and that don't make sense um, you can buy these for 20 bucks these are running from 20 to 25 dollars so you know I mean it just doesn't make sense to um, to pay that kind of money when I can just buy another unit but then again thing of it is if I would do that I mean this is still good why do they do that it's kind of like the printers with the ink you know so I'm gonna let this cool down we're gonna go outside and check some things on that golf cart and uh, <laughs> monkey's mom's got her headphones on singing so if you hear anything in the background the cat and the dog are fine it's just her mom ow okay well let me <laughs> Okay, let me let this cool down. We're going to head outside. Hey right, guys, so I'm back. Just uh, peeling some potatoes. Got a couple nice pork chops in there. I'm going to cook some potatoes and pork chops in my Dutch oven. Let them boil for about an hour. Well, simmer. Uh, throw some seasoning in, a couple boiling cubes. I just had a couple chicken, so it, it'll be fine, I think. Um, Speaking of which, Sunday, Friday, Monkey and her mom went to the store, get some groceries, you know, for the week and whatnot. She got a, uh, she got a nice roast. It was, um, it was like 24 bucks. <coughs> Excuse me, it was like 24 bucks, but it was marked down to... <coughs> nine dollars and 89 cents and this was you know going on Friday evening so Sunday I said well just go ahead and leave that out and I'll, I'll make that for Sunday supper you know and uh, there's something on my lens in there looks like oh it's <laughs> reflection but uh it's all right so Sunday afternoon, oh, I don't know, probably about, uh, 1.30, about 2 o'clock-ish, okay, so, I get that roast out, we'll make this a nice roast. I set it up there on the counter. I looked in there and it looked green. There were some spots that looked green. I was like, what the fuck? So, I uh, opened it up as soon as I broke that package, as soon as I broke the plastic. Man, it stunk to high heaven. So we had it two days. And the sell-by date was on Friday. Okay, I said, well, this is going back, but I got to looking at it. They didn't even try to do this right. I mean, they you can see it was a sticker on top of another sticker. I mean, they didn't even try to line it up. They didn't repackage it. They just stuck another damn sticker on. Went in there, I was mad. You know, I mean, geez, no wonder why it was only $9.89. Shit was rotted, man. And you know damn well... Things don't turn green and have a smell like that. It was on the verge of having maggots in two days. You know, you, you just, that just don't happen. So it had to be bad when they stuck that damn sticker on it. That's bullshit. So we got our money back. We ended up getting chicken wings and we had hot, hot wings for supper. But I mean, they had to give us, you know, $12 back for some reason. I don't know why, but. There was some reason about the computers. So, that goes to show you right there. You don't know what you're getting. You know? I mean, what if they wrapped that? You know, just 
rewrapped it and put a new sticker on it. What if they did that? You know, I mean, that's kind of shit. What if, if you do that on chicken, turkey, poultry, man, I'm telling you what, you get somebody sick, they could die. What, they don't give a shit, you know, but so I was outside, it's four o'clock now, 407. I was outside for a couple hours messing around with that golf cart. I had you out there, but I didn't turn you on. Um, because <coughs> it's pretty boring. I was just checking wires and stuff. Now, everything that has to have power has power. Everything that has to have the right amount of power has the right amount of power. Uh, all the grounds are good. The cables are a little iffy. I mean, you know, they're starting to corrode a little bit, but everything's running through the system good. Um, it gets a 48 volt. And I was getting, uh, it was bouncing around between 46 and 47, so plenty, plenty enough juice to run that thing. So I don't know what's going on with it. The only thing I can figure is. Uh, maybe the control module or something like that because everything else is working everything headlights taillights all that crap is working um, but like I said no um, nothing you push a pedal down nothing so um, could be there is a solenoid under there I mean it could be it I didn't really get into checking that out there's a lot of wires under there so I was mainly checking the wires and all that stuff and unplugging plugging in there's only four fuses on that thing they're all good so I don't know I just I need to find because I mean you know there's eight batteries in that thing and they're over a hundred bucks a piece so there's a thousand dollars in batteries and then whatever else might be wrong with it if it's a control module or whatever you know you're talking a lot of money so i'm thinking maybe i can just get a find a cheap gas powered one take the best of the two and make it gas powered you know what i mean if the other one's better just take the good stuff just take two and build one good gas powered one you know that's probably the thing i should do there so Anyway, that's what I've been up to today. <laughs> kind of messing around, so talking to you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and shut you off here so I can get these cut up. Get them put in my pan. Get them on to cooking. What I'm going to do is bring them up to a boil. And then I'll simmer them for about, you know, 60 minutes to 90 minutes. Just depending. <coughs> so, you know, when the... When the meat gets about 165, when I check it with my thermometer, it's good. I usually don't have to because when the meat starts falling apart, by then the potatoes are done, and so we'll be ready to eat. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned because the video after this one, I'm going to be doing a review on the headlamp we opened earlier. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week, and y'all stay safe and be cool. We'll chat at you soon. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.